Hey guys, Ike here from Ike'sOutdoors.com. I'm here today to do a review on the Leupold Vendetta. Uh, what this is, is, this is a laser rangefinder that will actually mount to your bow. Uh, what you're going to have to do when you mount this thing up is on your sight bracket where your quiver mounts to, mounts to your sight bracket, you'll basically just have to mount this to it and it'll come together and, and sit right back here on a bracket. We'll get into that bracket a little bit more uh, in a minute. It's got a couple mounting holes in the side. In the front, it's also got a, holes, a couple holes that are drilled and tapped for your quiver. So even though you're putting this on there, you're still going to have to be able to put your quiver on there. You don't have to sacrifice that. It um, does add a little bit of weight to your bow. Uh, the dimensions on this thing, it's 10 ounces. And the dimensions on this thing, it's 2.8 inches by 2.3 inches by 1.2 uh, inches. So it's not small. It's not huge. But it definitely, you're going to notice that it's there. I, I noticed it on my bow. It adds a little bit of weight to it. Uh, this is a carbon overdrive. So this is a fairly lightweight bow anyway. But it does add just a little bit of weight to it. Noticeable. I wouldn't say it's like, oh my god, this bow's so heavy now. I can't hardly lift it. But, you know, when you pick it up before and after, you're going to notice there's a little bit of a weight difference to the bow. But as far as the balance of the bow and the feel of the bow, no difference. At, or as far as the balance of the bow, I'm sorry. Uh, it does change the feel of the bow a little bit, but as far as the balance of the bow, uh, no problems. Uh, it didn't change the balance out very much. It didn't, didn't bother me as far as accuracy or feel or anything like that. Um, as far as toughness goes, this thing, I took it on a hog hunt and just a couple days ago, and we trounced all around uh, trying, to trying to get a hog down, and it, it, it held up great. Uh, quiet, vibration-free, you know, when you get everything tightened up on it, doesn't make a lot of noise, um, doesn't make a lot of sound, didn't add any sound to the bow. I mean, there's no uh, side effects from putting it on, on there as far as now my bow's louder, my bow's got a lot of vibration to it or anything like that. Um, how this thing works, mounting this thing up is kind of a two-man job. What it's going to do is you're going to have, you got your Leupold uh, Vendetta up here and you're going to run this cord right here down the side. You can see the button right here in the front. When you're at full draw, you're going to push that button and you're going to see at full draw, when you push that button, this thing is now on. And when you push the button again, which it ain't going to read it in here, but when you push the button again, whatever you're sighted it, you got your 20 yard sight pin on, is what this thing is going to read. So, what you're going to have to do is say you got a deer out there at 40, 50 yards, you put your 20 yard sight pin on him because that shows you where the laser, the laser actually runs through and hits, lines up with your 20 yard pin and projects out. So you'll line your 20 yard pin up with your target and it'll tell you whether it's 40, 50, 60, uh, up to 75 yards is the, is the maximum range and then you can make your adjustments from there and use the appropriate pin. Uh, as far as setting this thing up, like I said, if you sit here and you hold this thing, your, your trigger on the back, you'll see we've got a countdown going and what it's going to do is it's going to it's going to generate a laser here in just a second now we've got a laser coming out so you can see the laser on there now which that's pretty cool that's pretty neat um, what you're gonna do is you're on this bracket you got a bolt right here and you're gonna loosen this, this bolt up just enough to where this thing will move now this is really a two-man operation I've done it by myself but it took a long time uh, with two men it took five minutes by myself it took about an hour um, so you got this laser projecting out of the front of it and what you'll do is you'll come to full draw at 20 yards and you'll find the laser and say the laser is high and right you put your 20 yard pin right on the the heart or the right on the bullseye of the target and you'll start slowly adjusting this thing down what you'll have to do if you if you're one man is come to full draw find the laser if it's high and right you'll have to let up you'll have to come down and to the left pull back and do it again until you get it on the bullseye the nice thing is if you use two people, which has made it really easy, I got it to where I, I could move it just a little bit. It had just a little bit of tension on it, and you could you could move it, but it would still stay in place. I pulled back to full draw, and I had my wife actually just reach in and grab hold of it and move it to where the laser, she could see the laser, and she moved it to where the laser was pointed at the heart or at the bullseye of the target, and within five minutes of uh, doing it like that, I had it set up and had it ready to go. Now, like I said, I used this on a hog hunt and everything happened really quick on the hog hunt um, and I didn't actually get the range of the animal, but I've been using it here in the yard, using it at different places and it works very, very well. To turn this laser off, all you gotta do is squeeze this 
you'll see another countdown it'll count down from five and it'll once you get this sighted in it turns the laser off so now we've got our laser off and to use it again it's ready to go put my 20 yard pin on whatever I want to range push the button once to turn it on push the button twice and it will actually range the target minimum distance on this is 10 yards so that's why it's not going to range laser or uh, range anything right now but been been playing with it for quite a while and really just enjoyed it or uh, really has boosted my confidence quite a bit because now at full draw I can pull back I can range whatever I want to. I know, yeah, that it's accurate. There's no guesstimation to it. There's no guesswork to it at all. I absolutely know for sure that I've got this this laser lined up with my 20 yard pin, and I know that when I range it, it says 55 yards. It's 55 yards. So once you get it clamped down, my biggest worry was once I got it clamped down and I shot it repeatedly and repeatedly, you know, over and over and over again, that it was going to get loose and eventually it was going to get off. But that was not the case. I shot, like I said, I just took this bow in a hog hunt, and before I shot on or went to the hog hunt, I shot this bow quite a bit, and really just tuning everything in, making sure everything was good to go, and really making sure this thing was was going to work out and going to work pretty good because we hunted hogs on the ground, and things can happen fast, and things can happen, uh, yardage can change in a heartbeat. So um, I've been pretty happy with this Leopold Vendetta overall. It's been pretty tough. Uh, like I said, doing it with two people adjustment was pretty easy. Uh, doing it one person is pretty tough. It took me about an hour to, to get it to where I wanted. It was pretty frustrating. So if you got another person, that's how I would I would do it. So um, pretty happy with the Leopold Vendetta. The cost, you know, it, it's fairly expensive. Um, it's a fairly expensive product, but when you consider the cost of a laser rangefinder, you know, it's it's not too bad. The, it's about $375. You can probably find them a little cheaper than that on Amazon or someplace like that. Uh, and you can find them used occasionally on places like Archery Talk and eBay. But I kind of I hate buying used electronics. I did buy this one used from a guy that had pretty good feedback on Archery Talk and ended up being a pretty good deal. But um, but it uh, you know it is kind of pricey. But considering the cost of a rangefinder that you got to pull up and you got to range like this and then put back down and then pull your bow. It, you know, to me, it's worth it, and I, I have multiple bows, but um, this one will definitely be. I don't. I don't know if I'd necessarily want to change it from bow to bow to bow, as difficult it is to set up. But for most people who have one bow as their primary bow, uh, it's going to be an outstanding piece of equipment to add to that bow. Uh, really boost your confidence and really help you to make that snap decision of that deer is at 42 yards and, or that deer is at 38 yards or whatever and it will really help you get that accuracy and that quick that quick yardage judgment that you need so like I said we'll check we'll put a direct link to Louisville to this vendetta right down here in the website or in the description and for more product reviews how-to videos you can check out our website that's ikesoutdoors.com appreciate you guys watching